Hey, you girl Camille, at it again with another creation. Oh, I look a hot mess. I just got off of work. Got to go back in at 8 o'clock. I uh, thought I'd do something real quick. It's not quick. I'm going to make some soup. We're going to make some soup. And my husband said, what you making? What kind of soup you making? I said, anything. He said, don't get smart. Don't get smart. I said, it's called anything. Anything soup. Anything I put in the pot. That's what it's going to be. Anything soup. So it's anything, uh, anything soup. That's what we're going to call it. So well, I cleaned out the refrigerator from cooking all week. So I'm going to use some of that stuff up. And we're just going to use a whole lot of stuff I'm trying to get rid of in the refrigerator. Okay, let's see what we need. Okay, I'm going to start off with, I got a lot of stuff. I got some beef here that I want to get because I was going to make something last week. I want to get rid of it before something happened to it. So I'm going to do this. I got some leftover chicken because we didn't do turkey. But you can use turkey, leftover chicken. I got one taco bag I want to get rid of uh, real quick. You know they got dates on them, so I want to use it up before the date expire. I got some chicken base I'm going to use. I got some garlic and herb I'm going to use. I got some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley. Uh, some Greek seasoning, black pepper. I got some crushed pepper, crushed pepper, and some basil. I'm going to use a, just an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I got some pinto beans. I got some diced tomatoes. I got some great northern beans. I got some small shells, a little bit left in that box. Some fettuccine, I might use some of that. I got some mixed vegetables. I got some Asian vegetables. I got some stuffed Three cheese tortellini. I'm going to put some okra in there. Not all of it, just some of it. Then I got some celery left over for my dressing and, so, and one onion. This is about four stalks of celery. So we're going to work all this in there. And then if I go on and think of something, I'll just let you know what I'm doing. Okay, first we're going to get a skillet and stir fry our uh, celery and our onion and our meat. Okay? Get a little olive oil or a little oil, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use a little oil. Let it get hot. Then add your uh, vegetables. Okay, to so start this everything soup, we're going to First, start with our meat. I'm going to add a little onion, garlic, pepper. Uh, Chef Carmen's onion and garlic pepper to the meat. We're going to add some Italian seasoning. Chef Carmen's Italian seasoning. And I like her seasonings because they don't have no salt. And we try not to eat too much salt. You can order this salt or without salt. Garlic, herb, all-purpose seasoning. You know, use some of that. Now, this have a little salt, but not much. I'm going to season with that. And a little Greek seasoning. Some Chef Carmen Greek seasoning. And some pepper. Okay, we just got sauteed that. Now we got some water, but I only filled it a third full because we're adding all this stuff in it. So we're going to use our chicken base to get your flavor. The chicken base. We don't want it too salty. We just want to get the taste. A little chicken taste. Matter of fact, I'm not going to do chicken. We're going to do beef. Let's switch it over and do beef, not chicken. Beef is your good. We're going to try beef today. Okay, so I got some beef base. Let me make sure it's beef. Let me see it last time. Yep, this is beef base. Want to make sure it's beef. We're going to add like a tablespoon to our mixture until we get the taste we want. Okay? We're just going to stir that up. Then we're going to add our celery and onion. I think I got about four 
things of color and I like to add the leaves too. The leaves give it flavor. And I chopped it up thick because we're going to do chunky everything soup. Chunky everything soup. And then add your onion with it too. Okay, just continue to stir fry it. Here it comes a golden brown. Y'all, it smells good already. Y'all better ask somebody. Ain't nobody y'all can ask. But I'm going to tell you right now, y'all, it smells good already. Okay? Okay, we got the flavor we want. I had to add another half a tablespoon until you get the flavor you want. Okay, our celery and meat are done. We're going to saute it. We're going to move our soup up to the bigger eye. I'll turn the little one off. We're going to add our celery and meat to our soup. Okay. You have turkey, chicken. I'm gonna add my chicken to it. And we'll start getting some of the flavors in there too while it's cooking. I'm gonna add some of these crushed peppers to it. I don't want it too much because we don't want it too hot. We add a little bit of crushed peppers. And I want to put some basil. Basil leaves. Uh, this is by uh, Robert Ivan. You know, he's a chef, so he's good. This is his product. We're going to add some by half a table, teaspoon, half a teaspoon. We're going to stir that up. Then we're going to add our, our beans. Let me open the cans and clean them. Make sure you clean your cans because you want to make sure that they're clean. Because if it's cold, you don't know what's walking on your cans or what they do to the cans. So make sure you wash and clean your cans, um, all your cans. And always wash your dishes too. And I did wash my hands. I meant to tell everybody. I washed them before I started. Okay, I'm going to add a can of Great Northern beans. You can add whatever beans you want. Just I'm trying to get rid of these. They expire at the end of the month, uh, end of December. So I'm gonna go on and use them up. Add the juice to the juice is what make it thick. Okay. I had a pack of taco seasoning. We're gonna add this taco seasoning for flavor. We're gonna add the whole bag. It's, did you know your taco season, your chili season, have an expiration date too? So make sure you check that. Make sure you get that. This is going to give it a little kick. That spice kick. Okay. Then I'm going to wash my other can. Add one can of pinto beans. We're going to add that to it. Open that. And then we're going to add one can of diced tomatoes. And then you're just gonna let that, and you wanna add the juice to this too. That's what thickens the soup up. You got one can of pinto beans, okay? Okay. And we wipe the can. We wipe the one can of diced tomatoes. Now, the pastas I'm gonna add to the last minute so they don't take that long to cook. You wanna get your meat and celery and stuff cooking and all your uh, vegetables so they can get the seasonings in there. So we'll add that the pasta last. Okay, this is a can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add that. And I got a small can of tomato sauce. Just a uh, eight ounce can. We're gonna add that for taste, tomato with taste too, to make it taste more like a vegetable. Okay. Wipe the pans. I'm gonna add that. Now we're just gonna stir that and let that simmer. 
then we'll add all the other stuff later. And when you stir it, it should turn a little red on you. You want all them flavors to cook and let that meat continue to cook in that chicken too. Okay? Alright, y'all. Oh my goodness, it smells so good already. I don't know what it tastes like, but it smells good. Okay? So we're going to let that simmer and cook for about 20 minutes. And then we'll add our vegetables and our pastas. Okay, our soup is coming to the boil. Look at it. Looks good. Now we're going to start adding our vegetables. Now we're going to do a half a bag of everything. So it's a small pot. This is our Asian vegetable. We're going to do a small mixed vegetable. cook down a little bit and we'll put the okra in last because we don't let the okra don't taste long. We'll put the okra in last and I got what else I got to put in here? The pasta. We'll let it cook down a little more before we add the pasta so we can have room for the pasta. So we'll let it cook a little more about 10 more minutes. I'm just going to make sure I let meat get tender. Let me see what it tastes like. Oh, you can taste all the flavors. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add just a tag sugar, like a teaspoon of sugar. Maybe a tablespoon of sugar to get that blanket out of here. We're going to come back and we're going to put our pasta in. Look at that. Look at all the vegetables. Let me move you closer. Look. We're going to let it cook and then we're going to put the pasta in it. We're going to let it go 15 more minutes. Let it boil. Okay, we're going to stir. Make sure it's sticking. We're going to turn it down on low now. A medium. And we're going to add our pastas. We're going to add a little pepper to it. Some pepper and some parsley for color. This pepper. We'll put some parsley in here for color. We we'll already put the basil in there. Now we're going to start putting our pasta in there. I got some uh, three cheese tortellini pasta. We're going to put some sh shells, small shells in there. Not many, just a few. Because they blow up. Take up all your sauce. We have a cup. We're going to put some uh, vegetini noodles in there. Vegetinis. But we're going to break it up. Like a spaghetti. Just taking it. Break it in different size noodles. Whatever else you can find in your cupboard you want to get rid of, you can put in there. We'll do a few more. Be done with that. And then we're going to add our okra and just let it simmer. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. So we cook this whole soup for about an hour. We want to make sure our meat was good and done. I'm just going to stir that in there. Everything soup. Everything is in there. But, but the kitchen sink and the stove. <laughs> you better ask somebody. Okay, we're just going to let that cook and boil. Everything soup. I got some beef in there and I got some chicken in there. We got mixed vegetables in there. We got celery, onions. I got some, uh, I cut up a green pepper. I forgot to tell you, I put a green pepper in there green pepper left over, a half of one. Put that in there. And put some tortellini noodles in there. Got some great northern beans. Got some kidney beans. Got some Asian medley. Some 
chili. Oh, man, let's add our, let's add our okra. I got it like I'm gonna put a half a bag of okra. Put that in there. Ooh, we are uh, wonderful. Now we definitely gonna let it simmer. Look at all that. All them different colors and flavors. Okay. Now let it sit. I'm gonna go two minutes of time. And it should be done. Oh hey y'all, went in the cat pantry, found some potatoes. I had five little potatoes left. I'm gonna get rid of them so I can buy a bag of potatoes. They were starting to get eyes on them. Might as well put them in your everything soup too. Everything, everything, everything is everything. So I'll put them potatoes in there, get rid of them so you can start off fresh when you count your pantry again. So we got everything, everything. That's why it's called everything soup because everything is in it. We're cleaning up, cleaning out everything. Look at that. Everything is all right. It's all right. Let's taste this broth. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, mm-mm. Y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, make you want to slap somebody. Slap somebody. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. going to make y'all want to slap somebody in the face. It's so good. Okay, y'all. We're going to let that simmer. Let that pasta continue to boil. And I'll be back. And we're not putting nothing else in it because we ain't got no room in the pot. Y'all, you know, everything soup is ready. Look at this. Get all that stuff in there. We're going to let these potatoes cook a little longer because these those Yukon potatoes, they don't take long, but I don't think they're quite done. And let this uh, great northern beans cook. Look at all that. Everything soup. Lord have mercy. You should have called it a Lord have mercy. We're going to make that the cuss. what we're going to call it next time. Lord have mercy. Everything soup. Look at that, y'all. Wonderful. Okay, we're done. Take about an hour to make because you want everything to simmer. We're going to let that cook for a minute. Okay? And we'll be back to put it in a bowl. Okay, and there we go. Everything soup, y'all. It's got everything that I wanted to clean out the refrigerator. And it's got potatoes and celery and onions and potatoes and beef uh it's um what kind of beef i use i use those um boneless beef ribs it's got um chicken in it it's got okra in it carrots peas beans celery onion great northern beans kidney beans wow y'all look at that everything soup Oh my goodness. Can't tell me that. Nothing. Can't tell me nothing because that's everything right there. Everything. Look beautiful. Look at it and got a little baby corn in there. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. And the tortilla, stuffed tortilla shells with cheese. Three cheeses. Okay, y'all. There we go. Please like, share. Please like and share and follow. And tell me how you like it, how the soup looked to you. Try it, y'all. It is so freaking good. Make you want to slap somebody in the face. That's how good it is. Y'all better ask somebody. Oh, my God. Ask somebody today about this everything soup. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Have a good day. And don't forget... I'll be pulling for the prize for the month of November. November 30th, we'll be pulling. All right. Bye-bye.